We go now to the pandemic where counties across Northeast Ohio appear to be slipping back into the days of more cases, most likely driven by a new subvariant. And as our Marissa Signs reports, local health officials are keeping a close eye on those numbers. State of Ohio paints a color palette of orange and yellow. A CDC online tracker shows that closer to home, Cuyahoga, Summit, Lake, Geauga, Portage, and Ashtabula counties stand at a medium level of COVID-19 cases. Medina, Lorraine, Huron, and Erie counties peaking at a high classification. One of these factors may be our recent hospitalizations. A supervisor with the Lorraine County Public Health Department says they're seeing roughly 100 new cases a day, with 37 people hospitalized recently. Nonetheless, about uh, where we expected it to be. This morning I tested positive for COVID. Thursday, President Joe Biden announced he contracted the virus, a doctor saying his symptoms continue to be mild throughout the day Friday. Paxlovid is the new drug approved for prescription by the FDA July 6, also helping treat the president. Dr. Amy Edwards with University Hospitals says the antiviral medication helps fight virus replication in the body, which could help the president and others recover quickly. If you're suppressing viral replication, then if it can't make more virus, then you get better faster, right? The FDA says Paxlovid is meant to treat mild to moderate COVID-19 cases. Edwards says low-risk patients may not even need it. It's not clear that Paxlovid confers much benefit. I mean, because if you're already low risk, then, you know, what is the drug going to do? As cases rise, the medication could help a wave to come. It's a wave health experts anticipate is on the horizon. We're not, I would say, alarmed as it's expected that these case counts will ebb and flow, um, you know, especially even looking forward to the fall. Marissa Signs, 3 News.